if you are not making at least $100,000 a year, you are a brokey and you need to listen to what I'm about to share with you. They want to keep you poor. The society want to keep you poor. The government want to keep you poor, keep you in debt so that you can continue working for them. Saving money will not make you rich. You will still be broke after investing that $100 of your paycheck. If you have a rich mindset, a big dick mindset, you will know that the best investment that you can make is not in someone else's company. It's not in that crypto shit coin that will flew 10x next year or some shit. Imagine working over 60 years. Just so they can enjoy 5 years. How fucking stupid is that? The key to success, or rather the secret to success in life or in trading in general. Is so the first point I want to talk about is how everyone advice is shit. Everyone is lying to you. They want to keep you poor. The society want to keep you poor. The government want to keep you poor. Keep you in debt so that you can continue working for them. So the first step to becoming rich is to actually forget everything they taught you and rewind your mind. To become rich, you need a rich mindset, not a brokey mindset. And I always think that a brokey, the definition of a brokey, it doesn't matter if you earn $100,000 a year or $1 million a year. You can still be a brokey. It's all about your mindset. As long as you have a rich mindset, you are not a brokey. So, the first advice that I want to talk about is how saving money will make you rich. A lot of people will tell you, save money. Oh, oh don't buy that coffee. Don't buy Starbucks. Don't buy McDonald's. Save that money instead and you'll become rich. Is it true or not? If it's true, why are your parents poor? Why are your friends poor? Why are your teachers poor? The same people who ask you to save money, they are poor. They are broke. They do not have $50,000 in their bank account. So this same old advice on saving money, make you rich, all this are bullshit, all right? First, that's the first thing I want to tell you guys. All this shit are bullshit. Saving money will not make you rich, all right? Let me repeat myself. Saving money will not make you rich. You need to get that through your head. That's the first point. Second point, investing. A lot of people will tell you that, oh, you should buy uh, this stock. You should buy crypto. That will make you rich. Oh, if I invest $100 of my paycheck every month, I'll become a millionaire in 30 years. 30 years? 30 fucking years when for what? So that you can enjoy being at a beach when you are old, white, saggy, and grey? What kind of bullshit is that? People who are retired, What's, what's the normal retirement age? It's probably like 65 or 60 or something. Imagine working your entire life just to enjoy maybe 10 years of your life because like the average lifespan is probably like 70 or 90 years or some shit. Imagine working your entire life. Imagine working over 60 years just so they can enjoy 5 years. How fucking stupid is that? So compound interest is a scam. It's not going to make you rich fast. If you are looking to be fast, to get rich in your 20s, it's not going to happen by investing in some freaking company out there. What kind of small dick mindset is that to invest in some company? Think about it. If you have a small dick, you're going to invest in someone else. You're going to invest your hard-earned money into someone else's pockets to make someone else rich. However, if you have a rich mindset, a big dick mindset, you will know that the best investment that you can make is not in someone else's company. It's not in that crypto shit coin that will flew 10x next year or some shit. It is in yourself. That's the best investment that you can make, period. I'm going to elaborate more on this later on. So, stop trying to find that perfect stock to invest in. Stop trying to find that perfect crypto to invest in. If you are investing pennies, you're going to get back pennies. Investing $100 per month into your index fund is not going to make you rich. Get that through your head, all right? It's not going to fucking make you rich. Don't be a dumbass, all right? If investing your paycheck every month into a stock will make you rich, then why are most people still poor? Most people are investing. Most people are investing and trusting compound interest, hee hee. So that's like the first thing. I mean, that's the second thing, compound interest, right? So 
Like I said, everyone they taught you, everything they taught you is a lie. Whatever schools have taught you, they are lying to you. Let's say you go to uni and study business. The lecturers over there do not do business. They have never done business before or they have failed at doing business. That's why they come here to be your lecturers. They come here to be your teachers. Your parents are broke. Your teachers are broke. Your friends are broke. So why the fuck are you listening to them? Just because they are older than you? It's all the matrix speaking. Let me tell you, the only way to get rich is to increase your income. It's not by investing, it's not by saving money, saving on that coffee. It's by increasing your income. So the next question that you might have is, how do you actually increase your income? Very good question. There is a million ways out there to increase your income. There's a lot of ways to increase your income out there, right? There's drop shipping or how to make money online. There is thousands of ways to make money online. Drop shipping, trading, faking affiliate marketing, YouTube, TikTok, whatever. There's a lot of ways to make money online. I'm not here to teach you guys how to make money online. I'll leave that to Andrew Tate or something. You can join Hustler University or whatever the fuck you want. I'm not here to teach you how to make money online. I'm here to teach you how to get rich and how I got rich. For me, I choose Forex trading. That's the route that I choose to get rich. Forex trading. And I focus on Forex trading. What I mean by that is that I focus, I literally only spend time doing that one thing, that Forex trading, just focusing on that and not giving a shit about dropshipping, affiliate marketing, other fucking form of income stream. So that is what you need to do right now. The first step to increase your income is to pick one method to get rich and focus on that and becoming extremely fucking good at that one thing. Right, so that one thing, like I said, it can be forex trading for you or stock trading, crypto trading, affiliate marketing, real estate, whatever that you want. Go ahead, choose that. But chances are, if you are here, you are probably interested in getting rich from trading. Right, you're interested in that. I'll talk more about that later. So, after you pick one, one method, I need you to study your ass off. Learn everything you can about that particular thing. Right, learn everything you can about that particular thing. If you pick Forex trading, make sure you become the best at it. Make sure you learn every single thing that is to know about it. Make sure you master it, no matter what it takes. You need to have, to have that drive, that perseverance to keep going. Even when times get tough. So that's the first thing. I know I keep on saying that's the first thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure I said like a lot of things already. But yeah, I'm just like freaking messed up. So, after you focus on that one thing and you spend weeks, months trying to master that one thing, I want you to have this goal in mind. You need to aim to make $10,000 per month. That's the magical number right there. $10,000 per month. $10,000 per month is the magical number because once you reach that, you are pretty much like set. That means that you can afford like quite a lot of things in life. You can travel to your favorite country. You can walk in a store and buy whatever you want without having to worry about the price tag. You can go to a restaurant and have a nice dinner with your family without worrying about price tag. So $10,000 per month is the first goal that you should aim for once you start making money online. Remember this figure guys, 10K per month. After you hit that 10K per month, trust me, the next goal should be 20K, 30K per month and it's very much possible. I'm telling you, it's possible because I did it. Once I hit 10K per month, next month I hit 20K, 30K, 40K, 50K. Very, very much possible. So, aiming to make 10K per month, after you make 10k per month, what's the next step? Continue increasing your income. Duh. Continue to increase your income. I'm telling you, you have to continuously reinvest that money back into your, the thing that you are doing. Let's say you are forex trading. Reinvest money into it. 
reinvest your profits into it. You make $1,000, okay, good. Put it inside your account, maybe take $100 out to reward yourself and then leave the other $900 inside that account to compound it so they can make even more money. You can use a bigger lot size now. Reinvest the profits. Reinvest your income back into your business. The last thing you should fucking do is to buy some fucking Gucci or LV sneakers. Fucking bullshit. That's another lie that Matrix is trying to sell you. Consumerism. Oh, you should buy this Nike branded bag to be cool in school. Oh, you should buy Air Jordans, bro. It's like, it's like trending right now. Fuck off. Why are you buying such expensive shit when you are fucking broke? And you have to freaking go on finance and, oh, try to loan money just to buy that fucking stickers. How fucking stupid is that? How are you buying all this shit when you haven't even retired your parents? Don't be a fucking idiot. Be wise with your money. Reinvest that money back into your business or whatever that you're working on. Trust me, it will really pay you tenfold if you do that. Compared to if you buy that freaking sneakers which, what, will depreciate over the value and then some fucker right now is gonna say that Oh, you know sneakers is actually a good investment. Oh, shut up, bro. Fucking hell. All you brokies out here. So yeah, after you make 10k per month and you start making more money, then that is when you can finally start investing in stocks, crypto or whatever. You don't start investing when you are broke. You invest when you have money to actually invest in. Once you make six figures in your business, okay, then now you can start thinking maybe you should buy this stock or buy this crypto so they can grow that money passively. But if you are earning $1,000 per month, why the fuck are you investing? You should be spending that money and spending that time and effort to think about ways to make more money, have some side hustles aside or some shit. Like I said, if you invest pennies, you're gonna get pennies. You will still be broke after investing that $100 of your paycheck. Why do I say this? Because this is exactly what I did. I remember last time, I would say like two to three years ago, I was working as a waiter serving tables in a restaurant and a lot of you guys know my story I was serving tables in the restaurant very very broke at that point of time and I was making probably about like $8 per hour or sometimes even $10 per hour $8 per hour guys so yeah that, that was fucking broke so I'll make maybe like $1,000 per month and then at the start I'll start buying some sneakers like some dumbass teenager do you know some stupid shit buy some nice sneakers but then as I start learning about money then someone told me that I should invest or I see YouTube YouTube tell me that okay you know what the only way you can get rich is through investing so I start investing like $500 I put $500 into my account and try to buy Apple stock or some shit so I did that for maybe like a few months and one year passed by I made some money how much did I make? $200 Two fucking hundred dollars, guys. Yeah, I'm still poor after one year of investing. So, that is why I tell you guys to invest only when you have money. Let's say you have made over six figures now and you start investing $50,000 into your favorite stock. Now, one year later, you'll probably get back $20,000 or some shit like this as profit. And that is so much more significant than making $200 or $50 from your favorite stock after a year. Like you could have spent that money or rather I could have invested that money into myself and made 10 times more money than that. So let me repeat the steps. Number one, increase your income. Number one, increase your income. And how you do that is by finding a method to make money online or in real life, whatever you want, just find a way to make money. And then third step is to focus and try to be as good as possible at that one thing. Literally get laser focus on that one thing, get as good as possible on that one thing. And then fourthly, after you make some money, you make six figures, you make 10K per month, then that is when you can start investing into stocks or whatever. But I will still advise you to invest back into the one thing that you are working on. It could be forex trading, it could be your business, it could be your YouTube channel, whatever it is. 
I would advise you to reinvest the profits back into that because I have found that that is the best way to become rich. Right, so that's the first part of this lecture. I kind of tell you guys like the four steps that you should get rich. And there's a lot more wisdom I'm about to share with you. Next point I want to say is that hard work. A lot of you guys think that hard work is going to get you rich. And I'm here to debunk that myth. Hard work alone will not make you rich. When I was serving the tables as a waiter, I was working very hard. I will work from day to night and reach home at around 2 a.m., 1 a.m. I was working very hard, guys. I was working super hard. But was I rich? I wasn't rich. I was broke. The thing about working hard is anyone can work hard. I can hire a guy from Fiverr to work hard for me and I can pay him maybe like $10. Is he rich for working hard? Fuck no. Hard work is no longer significant in the modern age. It's about working smart now. And it's not about how hard you work. It's about what you work on. Think about that sentence for a minute. It's not about how hard you work. It's about, how, it's about what you work on. I hope that you guys are taking no down notes right now because like a lot of this thing is really really quite like gem and quite useful. Okay, who's taking down notes? Let me see in the lecture chat. Go type it down in the lecture chat right now. Are you guys taking down notes? If you if you are say yes, if you are not say no. Wow, wonderful guys. Wonderful, wonderful. Wow, there's a lot of people taking notes. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, back to the lecture. I'm actually surprised by how many people are taking down notes because if I were inside this lecture, I probably would not take down notes because I'm a lazy piece of shit. So uh, back to the lecture. It's not about how hard you work on. It's about what you work on. It's, uh, what did I just say? It's not about how hard you work. It's about what you work on. Right, so... This all links together. Whatever I just shared with you, it all ties in together. The best investment that you can make is in yourself. I want to emphasize on that sentence. When I say that the best investment you can make is not in stocks, it's not in crypto, it's not in real estate, it's not in Rolex, it's in yourself. I'm going to be frank with you. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I got the most returns from investing in myself. So what did I do to invest in myself? I bought books, started reading books, self-improvement books, finance books, forex trading books. All of these helped me become the man I am today. I bought courses. I bought online courses. I studied them. I practiced my trading. I applied what I learned from those courses. And it helped me to become a profitable trader I am today. The third thing, I invest in equipments that allow me to work better. A lot of people always ask me like, what do I, what, what do I spend on my money on? I have so much money, so what the fuck do I spend it on? And my answer always shocked them because I don't spend it on cars, I don't spend it on luxury watches, I don't spend it on a lot of things. Like, yes, I do have a luxury watch here and there, but I don't like necessarily buy them. I don't really enjoy luxury. Because I invest all those money or rather I spend the money that I earn on equipments that will allow me to work better, to become more productive. So it can be simple things like getting a nice quality noise cancelling headphones or a new monitor or a new chair or a new table. All of these things will allow you to work better and if you can work better, guess what? You're going to make more money. So technically, all these things, I'm still reinvesting back into the business. So those are the three things that you guys can invest on. You can start buying books or rather invest in books, invest in online courses, invest in equipments. I would say the final thing you guys can invest in is a mentorship. 
right? I'm not here to sell, sell you my mentorship program. My mentorship program is fully packed right now. We have no more slots. But if there's one thing I will tell my younger self is to invest in a mentor. Find a mentor. It was, I can't believe like how important it is to have a mentor. If I had a mentor, I would have mastered trading maybe within one year. It wouldn't have taken me so long and I wouldn't have lost so much more money. The key to success or rather the secret to success in life or in trading in general is to follow someone who is already successful at what they do. You are listening to me right now because I'm already successful at trading and I am wealthy in my 20s. That is exactly why you are following me right now. You are listening to me right now. So my advice for you would be to find someone, find a mentor that you can look up to. It can be me, it can be another YouTuber, it can be another guy out there in the industry. I don't give a shit who it is. But find someone and try to like learn everything you can about that person. Follow him on all the social media, follow him on Instagram, follow him on YouTube, follow him on TikTok. And then start watching all his videos so that you can start emulate his thinking, start thinking like him or her. That is how you can actually become successful. You start emulating the successful people. What I did was that I did not have a mentor. So my mentor was like books. So I will read a lot of books, a lot of books. And then like my mentor will be like the authors and I will visualize myself living their life and like applying what they learn and how they think. Oh, Bill Gates does this. Oh, Steve Jobs does this. And I will try to emulate how all these successful people live. Oh, they have a morning routine. Okay, you know what? I need a morning routine too. Oh, they meditate. Okay, you know what? I can meditate too. I can start journaling too. All of these are beautiful habits that you can work on. So... Those are the four things that I would advise you to invest in if you want to invest in yourself. Those are the four crucial things. The three reasons why you are poor. There's only three reasons why you are poor. You guys probably heard, heard these three reasons before. But you know what? I'm still going to say it anyways. The three reasons why you are poor. Number one, you are lazy. I would say a lot of people right here listening to this, you guys are maybe not lazy. You guys are probably like, Working hard, but not hard enough. For me, every single minute of my day, I'm spent working. If I'm awake, I'm working. Other than lunch and dinner, I'm working. And I would say that I work not because like I have to, but because I enjoy it. It's my purpose and it brings me fulfillment. Right? So that is why I work. I don't, I don't have time to sit there and watch Netflix, watch some movies like a little bitch. If you're doing that, you're lazy. You're scrolling TikTok in the middle of the day when you could have been using that time to work on your side hustle or learning trading. Get the fuck out of here. You're lazy. You are choosing to look at the Instagram models page instead of watching the trading gig videos. Oh, you're lazy. Get that shit out of here. You're lazy. So I would say like 80% of people here, you are not lazy. Maybe it's just the 20% that needs to hear this. You guys need to work harder if you want to be rich, man. Like, no cap. I know I said that hard work is not significant, but you still need to work hard at what you do, all right? Second reason why you are poor, you are arrogant. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not arrogant. I'm actually pretty humble, guys. Oh, I, I'm, I'm pretty humble. Then why the fuck are you not watching my videos till the end? You are arrogant because you think you already know this. You think that you are already good at trading just because you made $10 today from trading. You think that you are a master. So there's nothing for you to learn anymore. You don't have to watch my videos anymore because you, you, you think that you are the best right now. That's being arrogant. 
I'm telling you, if Elon Musk walk in the room right now and he tell me how to make money, I'm going to sit there, shut the fuck up and listen to him. I'm not going to speak a single word. I'm going to listen to him and then ask him questions. I'm going to be open-minded enough to absorb his knowledge because this motherfucker, Elon Musk, is richer than me. So I'm going to listen to him. And that is called having humility. You need to have the humility to say that, okay, you know what? I'm not there yet. I need to listen to this wise man and his wisdom. I need to take down notes. And the thing about trading is you will never ever be so-called perfect at trading. Trading is always about improving and learning. Even at this stage right now, I'm still studying trading. I'm still exploring advanced trading strategies. I'm always learning. I'm learning how to make better YouTube videos. I'm learning how to improve my trading. I'm learning how to become more disciplined at trading, even at this stage. There's always someone out there that is better than you, and you need to have the humility to say that I'm not there yet and start learning. So that's the second point. You are arrogant. I mean, the second reason on why you are poor, you are arrogant. The third reason is stupid. You are fucking stupid. If you are poor, you are stupid. I mean, if you are stupid, you are poor. Okay, basically that's the third reason. And I really believe that no one here is stupid. I really believe that everyone here listening to me right now is smart enough to come into this lecture. If you are smart enough to come into this lecture, you are smart enough to make money. So I'll say that people who are stupid is probably like, maybe like not inside this call. Some, some other people out there. So those are the three reasons on why you are poor. Lazy, arrogant, and stupid. So based on these three reasons, you guys can go ahead and like figure out what you need to work on. It could be laziness. It could be arrogance. If you're lazy, okay, tell yourself that, you know what? Instead of scrolling TikTok for one hour a day, why not spend that one hour on studying trading, watching the Trading Geeks videos till the end. Keyword, till the end. Which brings me to the second reason, arrogance. You are not watching my videos till the end because you think that you already know the, the thing already. Oh, I didn't know supply and demand good enough, so I'm not going to watch this video. Oh, I didn't know how to trade support and resistance. That shit is so simple, so I'm not going to watch this video. No, you fucking don't. You fucking don't. You are doing it wrong. You are drawing the supply and demand wrong. So have some humility. Suck it up. Suck up your ego. Put your ego aside and start learning. Taking down notes. I'll say that these three reasons kind of stopped me from being rich also. So I'm here to tell you guys that you can get rid of these three things. Lazy, arrogant, stupid. You can get rid of these three things. <laughs> Josh Hughes asks, how do I not be lazy? Very good question. Very, very good question. How do I not be lazy? Dear Josh, discipline. If I have one word for you, is to be disciplined. What does it mean to be disciplined? It means to do the hard things, especially when you don't feel like it. Today I woke up, I didn't feel like doing anything today. I felt like just lying in my bed. Oh, I'm so tired. I feel like just sleeping in the bed. Oh, I feel like just laying in the bed and scroll TikTok instead of getting up and do work. Discipline is getting up, getting the fuck up, tell yourself to get the fuck up and still do the work even though when you don't feel like it. That is discipline. So I would say, start developing discipline. Start developing resistance to the slave mind. Your mind is weak. Your mind is telling you that you should play that video game. Your mind is telling you that you should jerk off to freaking porn every day. Your mind is weak. Do not listen to your slave mind. So start developing the discipline to do the hard habits. I will say that there's, there's a video where I make on my YouTube channel. It's called 3 Habits That Make Me A Successful Trader In My 20s. Go watch that video. Implement those 3 habits into your life. And this laziness illness, this sickness will be gone, alright? 
So I hope that has answered your question, Josh Hughes. Jesus Christ, guys, there's a lot of recommendations. Okay, so a lot of you guys ask for books suggestions. I'll probably make like a video on books suggestions soon. But basically, I'll recommend you to read these three books on Forex trading. Number one, 10 Essentials of Forex Trading. Number two, uh, trading in the zone. Number three, naked price, naked prices or something is naked charts or something. Yeah, basically read these three books. Um, you say increase your income and then invest, but how do I in increase my income without investing? Dear Kosai, you have not been listening to my lesson. Increase your income and then invest. Increase your income means that you need to have start having a side hustle first, right? It could be making YouTube videos. It could be like what Nicholas said, learn a skill that brings you money. Once you learn a skill that brings you money, you learn how to make money online, you start having money, then that is when you can invest. You don't start investing first when you are broke. You invest after you have made money. So Kaitan asks, any books recommendation for better discipline and self-improvement? I would say there's a few books. Number one, Marcus Aurelius, Meditations, very beautiful book. Number two, uh, 12 Rules for Life. Number three, The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. Um, all right, let me just answer a few more questions before we end here today. Uh, QQ asks, do you recommend The Intelligent Investor? No, not really. It's, it's a thick-ass book that's like freaking wrote by Warren Buffett or some shit. Warren Buffett read it and he became rich or something, but nah, I, I, I never read the book. Okay, Truth has been asking a quick explanation of Fibonacci retracement levels. It's very hard for me to explain here because I cannot share my screen, I cannot show my face. So I'll say go watch that YouTube video that I did on Fibonacci retracement. Don't be lazy, literally go search on YouTube Fibonacci retracement by The Trading Geek and you can see there's two videos where I made. <coughs> Caution asks a very good question. How you fight your own ego? Is this should be mastered too? Very, very good question. Ego. Ego is the enemy. Ego is the enemy, right? So to fight your own ego, as much as I want to tell you that I have the answer to that, I do not have the answer to that. My answer would be what I did for myself is that I accept that I'm not up there yet. I'm open-minded to rich people advice, successful people advice. And then I go out there and start learning. And I accept the fact that the market is powerful. The market can do anything it wants. So if the market is showing me that price is going up, I'm going to be flexible enough to enter for a buy instead of entering for a sell just because my ego said that I should enter for a sell. So I'll say to become more open-minded to suggestions and wisdom, coercion, Okay, Behemoth asks, do you know other good mentors beside you? Um, not really. I would say there's a lot of YouTubers out there doing the same thing as me. So you can go search for other trading YouTubers. So... Sorry, yeah, don't, don't worry if you guys weren't able to like hear some part of the lecture or my mic is mute for some time. Because all, the, all of this is recorded and I'm going to send the recording or rather post the recording onto YouTube. So don't worry about it, guys. Okay, last few questions before we end here today. What are the side hustles we can do to make $500 quickly? Caution, good question. 
I would say, um, you see, that's the thing. Everyone wants to make money fast. Everyone wants to make money quick. There's no such thing as quick. There's no such thing as fast. If you want to get a six-pack apps, it's, it's not going to get you there overnight. You need to put in the work for months, weeks, or even years. So I would say, go out there, learn how to make money online first. Learn the side hustle first. Once you start getting good at that side hustle, then you can start maybe like making $500. It could take years, it could take months, it could take weeks to do that, all right? It took me like maybe like one year just to make $500 on YouTube. It took me one year. So are you able to wait that long? So I'll say, like I said, a lot of side hustles out there, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you what side hustle to use because I personally use Forex trading. So yeah, there's a lot of out there. You can do your research. Freaking editing videos can make you money. I don't know, like affiliate marketing make you money also. Yeah, guys. Um, the one best side hustle to make $500 fast is OnlyFans. Go create an OnlyFans. All right, guys. So whatever that I taught you here, everything that I taught to you today about how to get rich is all useless if you do not apply what you just learned. I understand that some of you guys might have taken down notes. Now is the time to go apply those notes. Go apply whatever you just learned. Go out there. Find that side hustle. Learn everything you can about it. Start making money, aim to make 10k per month. And then that is when you can finally start investing or something. Knowledge is only power when it is applied. So it's useless. You have just wasted 40 minutes sitting here listening to me if you do not go out there and actually apply what you just learned. So if you want to become rich, apply whatever I just told you. Do whatever it takes. Work hard. Master the, the skill that you, that you want to master, the skill that will make you money, that will make you happy, and your life will become much more purposeful, much more fulfilled, and you will make more money than the entire past generation do. So that's my final advice for you here today. I want to thank you guys for attending this lecture. 270 people over here. That is crazy. Thank you guys for attending this lecture. And, and I hope that you guys have learned something inside this lecture. I just wanted to like spread some wisdom here. So right now, it's 8.42 p.m. right now. In about 20 minutes, I'm going to be dropping a YouTube video on the only way to trade profitably. So after this lecture, wait 20 minutes, you, you are going to see another YouTube video by me on YouTube. So you can go watch that video and start, start studying trading again or something. Remember, do not let the ego get into your way. Do not be arrogant, be humble, have some humility to say that, okay, you know what? I'm not that good yet, so I'm going to try to become better at that thing. It's always a continuous journey. Life is always about improving 1% better every day. So with that, I leave you here today with all this wisdom. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day. And I will see you guys soon. And remember, you're just one trade away. Mwah.